There are a few things to keep in mind when you call the police to intervene in a situation where they're not really needed or where you voluntarily approach the police and start making statements or involving yourself um, in a criminal investigation. Number one, you should realize that the police are almost definitely going to take your information and to run your information in their database to see if there's any warrants out against you. And if there are, whether they're criminal or civil warrants, you're going to get arrested. So I've, I've seen many instances in body cam videos where people will come over to the police and they'll try to aid the police. They'll say, I saw this, this happened. They're trying to be good Samaritans. So the police will be friendly. They'll say, thank you. They'll take the person's information and then surreptitiously they'll go back to their car and they'll see if they can arrest that person. All right? They'll check the warrant status of the Good Samaritan. And if there's a warrant, that Good Samaritan is getting arrested. And if he just stayed out of it and didn't talk to the cops, that wouldn't be the case. So that's number one. They're going to check your warrant status. Number two, many people don't realize uh, that they've done anything wrong until the police show up and the police determine that something technical is wrong there. Um, and then they get a summons to appear for charges or maybe they even get arrested. Probably the, the most likely or the most frequent scenario of this is when there's a restraining order. Uh, you have a couple, one gets a restraining order against the other. The restraining order is good for a year or more. The couple makes amends, they get back together, the cops find them together, and they arrest usually the man who has the, the restraining order against him. He ends up getting arrested, all right, and, and brought to jail and then brought to court. But there are innumerable other ways in which you can violate the law not realize you did it, not harm anybody, <clears throat> but the police who work with these laws regularly know of the laws, and if you violate them, they will arrest you. And then lastly, you, you need to keep in mind that when you call the police to intervene in a situation, if they're not necessary, sometimes they can um, provoke people. Uh, to become disorderly or to become violent. So you have a situation that is getting a little rowdy or contentious, but it's not violent. A lot of times the police, and especially if they don't have their body camera videos uh, going, if they don't have body cameras, um, or if uh, they have cruiser cameras that aren't really positioned in a way that's uh, recording what's happening, th the cops can push boundaries and intentionally provoke people in some cases. So you should keep that in mind. That is a possibility and bringing the cops into a situation can often pour fuel on the fire. So I've written a blog post on this and I'll put it in the description below.